Hello, Mr. Red here. Today is the 14th of June, 2017, and I'm revisiting the little column that I removed bees probably about four or five weeks ago. Uh, there were um, bees in, inside the column right here. And when I left, I um, <clears throat> put a little swarm box out here, mostly just to catch the straggler bees. Well, six weeks ago, and and I just completely forgot about the box. And, uh, you know, it's just been my luck this year. A swarm of bees moved into the, into the, into the swarm trap. So today, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do a real quick little video. I'm going to go ahead and transfer the, um, the comb that's in the, in the uh, box, put it into a 10 frame because this box is chock full of bees. And I'm going to actually just put it right back up onto the, uh, on, onto the column and leave it here for a few more days and then come back if I remember, but I should. And, uh, and grab this box and bring it up to the Abbey. So by the grace of God, we'll go ahead and transfer these uh, uh, combs into our 10 frame box and uh, this thing ought to work really smooth. Now I will smoke them this time because these guys, I don't know what they're gonna do. So time to uh, do a little wrangling. Well, by the hardest, I got that box up there again. What had happened, uh, since I've been so lazy and forgetful, uh, the bees had actually filled up that little uh, nuke box, and there was plenty, plenty of brood in it, really nice uh, pattern, and I didn't, did not see the queen in there. Um, I did, uh, the bees are back in the column, but um, I think it's just because they ran out of room inside the box. So hopefully, these bees will stay here for a week, maybe even longer, and uh, they'll they'll all move up into into the box. So I have to give y'all a, a report on this later. So we'll check back with this in probably a couple more days. So it's been uh, two days now since I came out here and uh, transferred the um, frames into the to the big uh, ten frame box as opposed to the nuke, and uh, things are a little bit different. But the bees are still in the column. In fact change their entrance now now the entrance is uh, in the back as opposed to the front so today my game plan <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and set the uh, the box on my little table right here and then I'm going to uh, run the bees out of the column um, after I run them out the column I'll remove the comb that's in there and uh, um, after I remove the comb, I'll seal it back up and place the box back on top of there. So that's the game plan, by the grace of God. I shouldn't run into too many difficulties, but you know, with wrangling bees, there's always the unexpected. So let's uh, see what it develops.
All right, we got a different setup here. Since they're out on the column, I'll go ahead and move the uh, whole box over. Hopefully they're gonna run down. I pulled out two pieces of a brood comb on here so our queen was in the column. But uh, we got two pieces of brood comb right here that I pulled out of there. And, uh, and then of course their comb is in here. So hopefully all this little stuff will be uh, used as a draw for them. Well, round two is over. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna score this one for Mr. Ed or the bees, but I think it went pretty well. Ran the bees out. Struggled and got the box back up there. I got the uh, old entrance sealed off pretty well, I think. I still think they want to go in there, but uh, I don't know. I think I think they're in the uh, going to be going to that box. I did pull out two um, sections of comb that had brood on it, so the queen was in the column, and uh, I did go ahead and frame that up and, and set it inside the box. So I guess I'll be back in another two days and uh, check the progress. And I'm hoping the next time I come up here. All the bees will be in the box. All right, till then, I got another job to go to. Back for round three on this little job right here. Uh, and today I got, a, I got a good game plan, I think. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the box, set it down on the sawhorses right there in the column. And I'm gonna go ahead and run the bees out again. Um, and. Uh, when I run out the bees this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I have a piece of foam and I'm going to drape it over the, the column and then I'm going to tape it all around so the bees cannot get back into it. Most of the bees are in the box, but I want to get all the bees out of there. I don't want any bees in the column. So by doing this, I'm hoping I'm going to finalize this deal and then in a few more days, go ahead and remove the box, bring it back up to the attic. The grace of God, round three ought to be on Mr. Ed's side of the, of the line. Let's do this thing. Let me grab the camera though. I want to show you this. I mean, the good thing is there weren't any bees in here. Here's the, the really only piece of comb right here that I didn't get out and uh, and it is full of maggots you can actually see them even right now let's see I'm gonna try to zoom in yeah you see them crawling on it right there so this piece look at them all this piece I'm just gonna leave in it I can smell it's fermenting already so there's no point in getting this um, yeah there's still comb inside of here and after I move this stuff I have to come back here and clean all this stuff out but right now it's good I'm gonna go ahead and push these bees out of here and seal this thing up so let me do that that looks pretty darn good there's no way the bees can get back in underneath that column at least not these bees and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and place the uh, piece of plywood back on top of that and the box right back on top of that and let these girls get back to doing what they're supposed to be doing, making honey. You know what, I think I'm, I'm just going to leave this box on the sawhorses because I don't want to come here at 4 o'clock in the morning and pull it down off that column. They'll figure it out, I'll rotate it around. We're not that far from it. They'll figure it. All right, that's a wrap on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably leave this box out here for another week. And uh, after that, come back early in the morning, plug it up, take it on up to the Abbey. So that's all I have for you in this one. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching and I'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed. I'm out of here until the next video.